gon' get these drinks out here I got money so they put it in the bag I'm pulling off all the tags and pulling off in the jag Fuck being broke, it's broke, niggas is mad Get a job with your broke ass and get it out the hoes ass I go fast when I'm riding through the city lights I'm from the Bay West Coast with your city like New nights, fresh jeans and a snapback I'm Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, we should vibe, so you should what you should like, comment, share, and subscribe, but only if you want to, only if you want to, if you're watching, that's really all I appreciate. Everything else extra, and if you do so, I greatly appreciate it. If you want extra DCT, go ahead and click the link down in my description below to join my membership. It's a new video up on there, so go get that extra juicy tea, period, okay? And y'all, I'm trying to find that picture of Lee. When I find that motherfucker, I'm putting it on there, because I, I need y'all to know what lee look like okay period all right y'all let's jump into it so as y'all know i left off basically telling y'all how it just start going downhill the closer i got with miss burgundy like i said the leads was taking jessica's side so they was looking at miss burgundy as the bad guy they basically was looking at miss burgundy like some ghetto ass hood rat ass bitch i'm just gonna keep it straight up with y'all they was looking at jessica like she was fucking this prissy little bougie ass angel which she fucking wasn't she was more ratchet than any fucking body but you know when you a different race that's okay but when you're black and you act the same way you're ghetto you ratchet it is what it is remember when i told y'all miss burgundy got into it with the lead chris one day i'm helping people like i usually do because people like coming to me and asking me for help and if i'm not busy i don't mind helping nobody you feel me i want everybody to get the job I want everybody to, you feel me, feel like they got somebody they can come to because I know how it is. When I first started, I didn't really have nobody I could really go and ask that I felt comfortable asking. You get what I'm saying? So if you feel comfortable coming to me and ask me and I can help you, I'm going to help you. I could be the people's voice. You feel me? I'm the people champ. You feel me? I got you. So one day, I'm helping Miss Burgundy and Chris going to say, oh no, go back to your desk. And I'm like, what? I'm like, I'm just helping her real quick and then I'll go back to my desk. He's like, no, you need to go back to your desk. And I'm just like, what's the big deal? I get up and I help people. People get up, come to my desk, ask me for help. What is the problem? I'm not on the call right now. My phone not ringing right now. Mind you, at this point, they separated Miss Burgundy, me and Miss Burgundy. They didn't want us to be near each other because we was talking and stuff like that, but everybody was talking to everybody in this job. But because she was getting into it with Miss Jessica and she was really getting into it with the leads and shit like that, they separated me and her. They they, they put her kind of not far, but we didn't sit by each other no more. I say like, if I'm sitting right here on this side, on this aisle, she was on this aisle, way up there and I'm way back here. So we weren't sitting by each other no more. So, but I got up to go help people all the time no problem and he was just like oh you don't need to help her if she need help she can come ask one of us she can come ask the leads and i'm just like okay i mean y'all be acting like y'all don't want nobody to get up and come ask for help so i i don't know she asked me for help so i'm helping her he was like no you can go ahead and have a seat so i'm just like all right so i go back to my seat and i message her i'm like girl why is chris tripping about me coming to um help you he was like i don't know like they've been acting funny since i had got into it with him and all the shit with miss jessica and i'm just like girl this shit is crazy like why do they even feel involved that much to be taking her side to be treating you funny that's hella fucked up like it's just like the situation has nothing to do with them y'all was friends y'all getting into it with personal shit i don't feel like it's nobody's business to be really hopping in that shit mind you i'm being messy but i don't treat jessica no different the only time i treated jessica any type of way is when she did that fuck shit to me that one day other than that i never treated her any type of way or did no funny shit to her or gave her no fucking attitude mugged her none of that shit because it was just like what the fuck her miss burgundy got going on has nothing the fuck to do with me up until this point y'all i had never had any issues with chris now mind y'all don't forget in part one how i said i was talking hella shit about the leads to vin not knowing he was cool with them i never really said too much about chris chris was like the coolest out of all the leads so when him and miss burgundy got into it that's what was really strange because he was usually the nicest one now i get it like a lot of people would come up to them and ask them like questions that 
you can pretty much go and find the answer too. So maybe he was just having a fed up day and he just snapped on her. But usually he was like the nicest one. So him telling me to go sit down and don't help her threw me all the way off because I was just like, whoa, because y'all, he said it with attitude. Like he was like, nah, go back to your desk and sit down. You ain't finna help her. So that's why I'm just throwing off like, oh, wait a minute. Hold on. You don't never talk like this. I get it. You got into a Miss Burgundy. I really don't know what happened between them because I wasn't right there when him and her got into it. She just told me they got into it, but I don't know what it was really about. So it kind of just was like, okay, well, what is Vin either going back telling you or what is Jessica going back telling you that me or Miss Burgundy would have said about you? Okay, because it was just like, besides, like I keep saying, besides him getting into it with Miss Burgundy, he was hella cool. I never really had too much shit to say about him. The only thing I might have said was he was like an ass kisser because he was like the closest to boss man than anybody. So he was like right under boss man. So any type of promotion that would have came that would have been right under boss man. Basically, Chris was his number two. So it just seemed like he was always ass kissing the boss just to secure his spot. But whatever. I ain't never said nothing else probably besides he's a fucking ass kisser out other than that like i never said anything else bad about him because there was nothing to say also y'all i am left out a critical part of this story so remember how i told y'all in a past story time about the call center that the recruiting person that was in charge of like all the tent people was nelda nelda retired so then these two black girls took her place and when they came in they was like, OK, we want to figure out what's dividing everybody in the office because they was hearing about all the drama and everything going on. All the complaints that everybody had been been making was left to them to figure out and, you know, try to get things smoothed out because it was just so much tension in that goddamn office. Y'all, it was crazy. So you y'all know how black women come in and they were some fly ass black women let me tell you them so well, there was some classy ass fly bitches they wasn't like oh they was like mid-age i think the um the head girl she was like maybe like early 30s and then the other girl was probably like mid 20s because she was like around our age at the time so they was young lit black professional ladies so you feel me they wanted to really figure out what was going on and why people was feeling like they was getting mistreated in the job especially the black people really because y'all at that job it was a lot of black people that worked there and it just seemed like they treated the black people different from other people or certain people it was just like when you're black it's an unspoken thing but you have to work twice as harder you have to be twice as smarter you have to do more to be seen equal to somebody else and they probably ain't even touching you nowhere close to how good or efficient you are at your job but still you gotta go above and beyond when you working in any type of field as a black person I, 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 and it's not to say that people are racist or prejudiced it just is what it is y'all I'm just telling y'all that from my own personal experience I felt like I had to work double just to be seen as equal which means i have to work triple to be seen as oh okay she qualified you get what i'm saying i hope y'all i hope y'all keeping up with me no shade to nobody no i'm just telling y'all this is this is something i've experienced myself and this is something i've seen myself okay i'm, I'm just saying that i'm not no tea no shade the day comes where they about to tell who's about to get the lead position Mind you, all this little funny shit going on. I'm just trying to keep cool, keep my head down and do my work. You feel me? After he said that little funny ass shit, I just told Miss Burgundy, like, if you need me, just just message me. I, I ain't going to be getting up coming to help you because they tripping. Like, I don't know. Like, they got some type of vendetta against you and they rubbing that shit off on me. And I'm trying to get this position. So she's like, cool, girl, don't think nothing of it. Because I was just like, I just don't want you to think I'm acting funny. Like I told her, I, if I win, I can make it. I can try to help us all win. You feel me? But we're, we are documenting shit now. We're sending emails to new black ladies. That's at the, the new recruiters, the black ladies, documenting shit. So we just telling them like, oh, this little incident happened. We just wanted to let y'all know. We feel like... We're being treated unfair because we are cool and we're not understanding why. So 
so we having like background conversations with these ladies about what's really going on at the job because we really connected with them and they was just telling us like tell us what's really going on up here what's all the drama because we're not understanding why so many complaints are coming back so we was giving them the little baby rundown on what's going on or whatever they were no shady bitches or nothing like that they was cool like they was really trying to help us in this job and make sure that we was all getting treated fair so okay anyway the day's coming where they about to tell who's getting the lead position so in my mind i've been i mean y'all i've been doing hella extra work on top of answering phone calls okay and during peak season we can be getting at least 50 to 100 calls a day i'm doing extra assignments doing trackers doing extra outbound calls on top of helping everybody because everybody want to come ask me for help because i'm nice you get what I'm saying? So I'm working like I'm already a lead because I'm like, this position is mine because boss man is telling me that this position is mine. The day come. The day come. Why the fuck did they give the fucking position to Vin? And guess who else? Guess who else? Guess who the fuck else they give the fucking position to? Because I didn't even really talk about this bitch. Remember the bitch I told you that I was in the car with me when my car broke down? We're going to call her Carly. They gave the fucking position to Carly. Mind you, Carly barely knew her job. She was like Miss Jessica. They didn't really know any information. Always coming to me asking me for help. I'm like, y'all, when they made these fucking announcements, bitch, I'm crying at my desk i'm mad as fuck i'm like are you fucking kidding me y'all i'm throwing a fit i'm like i'm like this gotta be a joke 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 carly don't do nothing my y'all they will be fucking with the phones basically they could put you on there was like levels one through one through three when you on level one you don't get that many calls when you on level three you can get the more calls will be directed to your phone i'm always on level three carly jessica people they like that really didn't know the job but they liked put on number one y'all my phone could ring 10 times and jessica and carly's phone would ring twice then i get it i was getting through my calls fast but on a slow day, I would get five calls before they would get one. So I'm like, what the fuck? Carly always giving out wrong information. I ain't never heard this bitch give out right information out one motherfucking time. She's always giving out wrong information. Bitch barely getting calls. Bitch barely do anything. Y'all, I'm low, mind you. On the low... Carly had been getting cool with Chuchi. Chuchi Elite. So hella shit was just going on in the background. I wasn't really even paying attention to. I'm like, hold on. Hold on. Whole time. Ben had only been working there not that long. I had been working there two plus two, three years. Putting in that work, putting in that time. I would say Vin had worked there maybe what a year or so. Y'all, I'm blow, I'm blow, I'm blow. I'm at my desk. I'm cussing. I'm mad. I'm like, this is some fuck ass shit. I can't believe this shit. I'm mad. I'm going off. I'm talking hella shit. Miss Burgundy, she messaged me like, friend, calm down, friend, calm down, friend. Everybody around me like, wow, that's fucked up. Like, that position was shameless. That was shayless like everybody is looking shocked in a fucking paw besides these fucking leads and they over there grinning and shit and smiling and shit i'm pissed i'm pissed i'm pissed i'm i'm like i rage y'all so boss man's like shayla can you come talk to me in the room i'm like man whatever we go in the room i'm like what the fuck i'm like you told me that position was mine you start giving me all those tasks because you said, look, put this work in, do good, lay low, come back from your breaks and shit on time. Boom. I said, I've been doing hella shit. I even been staying work late. 
to do extra shit. Put my best foot forward. Sometimes, y'all, we would have overtime on the weekend when we would come, like, test new features and programs. I'm coming. I'm there. Six o'clock in the morning. On a Saturday and Sunday sometimes. Two days. So work every day. Bitch, are you going to give it to a bitch who barely know fucking what CASP stands for? Bitch don't even know what the program stands for. I'm blow, I'm blow, I'm blow, I'm blow. So I'm just like, I'm like, what's up? Like, what the fuck happened? Why I didn't get the position? Why you didn't even tell me? Like, you could have gave me a fucking heads up or something. Like, I'm so confused. He was just like, well, it had came down to it and it had came down to a vote. And that's who got voted. Like, I, he was like, I don't understand it either. If it was up to me, you know, you would have got the position. You deserve it. And I'm just like okay then all right i get it that's y'all partner you feel me they tried to make it seem like he was just like you know he got a degree and he went to college and all this bull ass shit i'm like all right whatever been good at his job i mean he ain't been putting in that much time and work as me but he's good at his job i'm like all right i get it that's y'all friend i was talking hella shit about y'all to him he probably was going running that shit back and that's probably why the leads probably didn't vote for me all right that's on me that's my fault i should have watched who i was talking shit to but for y'all to promote carly y'all i was sick to my fucking stomach Guess what this nigga going to say? Guess what this nigga going to tell me? He was like, oh, we just feel like you be doing Miss Burgundy's work for her. And you can't be doing her work. So the, lead, the other leads feel some type of way because they feel like you just always doing her work and not letting her do her work. And that doesn't show leadership. I'm like, are you fucking kidding? I can't, are you, are you, are you fucking kidding me right now? Are you fucking kidding me right now? I'm like, how the fuck can I do her work? I don't ever take over her calls. I don't ever grab her phone and get on the phone and help her customers. I go over there and I help her like I help every fucking body else. I can see if you were saying that I'm helping people too much, I guess. But for you to specifically say, Miss Burgundy, all right. So y'all, we had this big ass thing going on where me and Miss Burgundy, we funking with everybody in the fucking office at this point. Cause I go back and I tell her, I'm like, bitch, why the fuck did they tell me they didn't give me the position because they said, I'm doing your fucking work. She's like, bitch, what? I'm like, girl, yeah, that's what boss man told me. So we go back and we tell the two black ladies or whatever. We have a meeting, me, her, me, Miss Burgundy, the two black ladies and boss man we all discussing it or whatever and basically it just came down to it today it was just like y'all just need to separate like y'all just basically they was telling us we couldn't be friends at work they didn't want us talking to each other we couldn't be seen with each other now mind you we talked to the black ladies on our own and they was basically like look y'all already know how it is y'all two young black women y'all already know you know we can talk to them a million times but the best thing we feel is for y'all to do is just to lay low and hanging out with each other and we like we've been doing that but it's just like how the fuck can they dictate our friendship it's not affecting our work i just think that's weird how they're trying to say that i'm doing her work and that's why i didn't get the position so basically she was just like don't do no more of that extra work they give you don't do it and they try to have you doing extra little projects don't do that shit you're not getting paid extra don't do that shit you're not obligated to do that because y'all after they gave the position away from me and i was fucking heartbroken crying they still was they still was wanting me to do lead work keep up with these trackers keep doing these formulas help carly learn how to do what the fuck i already knew how to do and I was like, nope, get somebody fucking else to do it. I'm not going to fucking help her to do the position that I already know how that was promised to me already.
But all right, nothing was in writing. Okay, cool. Cool. So we go on through work. And I'm just like, all right, I already know how to move in here. Fuck it. I'm pissed. Like, I'm not really, like, talking to nobody for, like, a whole two weeks. Like, me and Miss Burgundy didn't even kick it together. Like, we was cool outside of work. It was no drama, but we was just, like, let's just separate. Like, I would go sit in my car on lunch by myself or walk around by myself. Like, we wouldn't do shit together at work. And it was just, like, it's fucked up because they're not treating nobody else like this. Everybody helps their friend here. Everybody's kicking in with their friend here. I'm not understanding why it's a problem with me and Miss Burgundy being friends. Like, why is they so mad? Why is they so bothered? Two fly ass young black women up in here popping they shit. It was just like I just didn't get it. Cause y'all, we would come in there looking fly, cute for the time. You feel me? Whatever. So one day, a couple weeks passed by, shit cool down. I'm like, all right, whatever. Miss Burgundy asked me for help. I'll go over there to help her real quick. Chris gets up and walks over there and was like, oh, so you doing her work again? I'm like, what? He's like, didn't they tell you not to be helping her because you doing her work for her? And I'm like, are you are you kidding me right now? Mind you, he's saying it in a rude, stinking ass attitude. And I'm just like, my friend need help. I'm gonna help her. Everybody gets up and help their friend. I don't see no problem with me doing it. I don't, I don't understand what the problem is. Mind y'all, he was waiting. He was, cause it was just like, how did he know? How did he know? Like how our desk was y'all, if you're not consistently getting up, you are not seeing who up. Like it was cubicles. You're not like how the office was set up. You're not just, you was waiting. Mind you, he was listening to her call. When she was like, oh, let me put you on hold so I can gather that information. This nigga stood the fuck up just to see if I was about to get up to go help her. So they had just been watching and listening to her calls to see if she was going when she puts them on hold. And if I was going to get up to come see if I was going to help her right weird as fuck because it's just like it's never that serious so i start getting into it with him i'm just like i just think that's weird that you guys are paying so fucking hard to if i'm about to get up to go help miss burgundy when i didn't already got up today to help everybody else in this motherfucking floor but once soon as i get up to go help miss burgundy it's a problem he's just like yeah because she need to learn and she need to get it on her own and you don't need to be helping her all the time and i'm like everybody asks me for help all the time why is it a problem when she asks me for help i ain't even got up and i said it's been days it's been weeks since you've seen me at her desk since you've seen her at my desk so i'm like what's the problem chris what's the problem chris and he's just like, see, that's why you didn't get the position right there. That's why you didn't get the position right there. I said, oh, Vin must have told you what I said about you. And what I said about you is what I said about you. And he's just like, no, no, that's not even it. That's not even the case. But you're just always at her desk. You're always helping her. We can hear you helping her. Because mind you, they can tap into our calls and they can hear, like, if you don't put your phone on mute or something, no, not even mute. If you don't put your phone on hold, they can hear you even if you put your phone on mute. A lot of times we would just put the phone on mute. So it was like they was hearing every time I went over there to help her what I was telling her or whatever. So I guess they just felt like I was just giving her the answers. You get what I'm saying? I wasn't like showing her, oh, girl, go look here, chapter five and page three, whatever. I would just be like, girl, tell them this, tell them that, tell them like this and that. I guess they didn't like that. But I was doing that with everybody, not just her. So me and him getting into it and I'm just like this this is weird as hell like you paying that fucking a close attention I'm like are you ex obsessed with her you obsessed with her or something you obsessed with me like I'm trying to figure out what's going on because at this point I'm thinking like you obsessed with her you gotta be because you 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 stalking her at this fucking point or, or is you stalking me? I don't know, y'all. Y'all tell me. Is he stalking me? Is he stalking her? I don't get it. I don't understand. I really don't. I'm not understanding it. 
So I'm just like, man, whatever. We had that little argument. I go sit down. I'm pissed. I'm just like, it just came back to me how they gave fucking Carly the position. Cause they're her motherfucking big ass go getting up. She come over to my dad. She's like, Shayla, just calm down. It's okay. Don't let it get to you. It's it's not that big of a deal. And I'm looking at her and her like, get your big ass away from my motherfucking desk, bitch. No shade. But that's just what I'm thinking. Because she was a big bitch. I'm just like, bitch, you should be the last one coming to my motherfucking desk talking to me. You, you, They whole ass gave you my fucking position because you cool with Chuchi. You don't even know how to fucking do your job. I'm so confused. I'm just irritated. I'm just whole ass fucking irritated, y'all. At this point, I'm just like, fuck this job. I'm about to just start doing whatever the fuck I want to do. That's when we start fucking drinking. That's when I started being real extra messy, cutting up in this motherfucker. Because I was just like, I didn't did all this, went all the way out of my way, put in all this time, all this work. And because y'all don't like Miss Burgundy, and I'm cool with her, y'all gonna start acting funny towards me? I guess it's just guilty by association. You feel me? So, yeah, I was just like, this is crazy. So I'm telling boss man, I'm just like, why is it such a big deal when I help her? Like, what is the problem? And they just like, oh, she be wanting to stay over the summer, but she's always asking you for help. If she want to stay, then she don't need to be asking you if she want to get their vote. She need to figure it out on her own. She need to do better. She need to study more. She need to learn a job more. And I'm like, all right, cool. I get that. But that's not no reason for Chris to be stalking. Chris to be getting an attitude with me. Chris never had got no fucking attitude with me. Chris was always nice to me up until that point. I don't know why the fuck it was bothering him so much. I don't know if at what point then probably told them the shit I was saying. I don't know. I don't know if he already knew. He could have just told him. I don't know. But it was just like out of nowhere. He just started acting funny towards me. And I couldn't understand why. It was just like, shit, I said what I said. You be walking around stuck up all under the boss man's ass, ass kissing. That nigga can say jump. Your ass is going to say how high. Yeah, I said it because you do. Period. <laughs> like, come on now. Like, we was talking shit. <laughs> I was talking shit. I was being messy. That's my fault. That's on me. So... Yeah, y'all. After that happened, Miss Burgundy started going to nursing school. Now, when she started doing this nursing school, from what she told me, I don't know. Because she was just basically like, I'm fed up with this job. I'm fed up with how they treated me. I already got some certificates in nursing. I might as well go back to school and get the, the last little requirements I needed so I could start working in a hospital. And I'm like, okay, friend, yeah, do that. Like, get the fuck up out of here. Like, that's going to be motivation for me to get the fuck up out of here and do something different too. So what she told me is that boss man had been hitting her up on the book, Facebook, um, trying to flirt with her, get her to go on dates to do, you know, like sugar daddy shit, get a little sugar, get a little, <laughs> get a little treat. So she said to me that he just gave her the money for school. Mind you, she went to this little program. I think the program cost a thousand dollars. She said she finessed him and that he just gave her the thousand dollars. She didn't have to do nothing with him or nothing like that. He just gave her the thousand dollars. Now, mind you, Boss man's wife had went through this nigga's phone one day and he she had saw that he had sent Miss Burgundy a thousand dollars and seen the whole conversation between them two. Now for some reason, because me and Miss Burgundy names like could be similar. You get what I'm saying? Like she thought it was me for some reason. So one day boss man comes to work and he's like, Hey, if my wife come up here and she tripping it's cause she think I was talking to you. And I'm like, what? Excuse me. And she's, he's like, yes, yeah. she saw a conversation that I had with Miss Burgundy and she thinks it was you. And I'm like, well, why the fuck you didn't tell her it wasn't me? 
And he was like, because she don't know who Miss Burgundy is. So I'm just like, well, what the fuck did you say? Why wouldn't you say it wasn't me? Mind you, y'all, at this point, I don't even, I, I miss it so much. Six, there's this hella shit that go on in his call center. One of his daughters work at the job. One of his daughters work at the job. So before he even came told me, the daughter was looking at me funny that day and i'm just like why the fuck is k looking at me fucking funny what's up with this bitch you feel me like i know she probably be mad her daddy be flirting with everybody in the office but bitch <laughs> you know i don't want your daddy so don't be looking at me funny so he come tell me this shit and i'm just like okay now at this time as well miss burgundy has switched her shift she was working a um different shift than me so me and her wasn't really hanging out like that also the wife comes up there a couple days later the wife come up there right she set tripping in the fucking parking lot like i don't know what, i don't know what was said between her and boss man but they was in a parking lot fucking arguing me and miss burgundy so happen to have been walking out at this time oh <laughs> boss man's wife was mugging the fuck out of us because basically she thought i was miss burgundy i guess Somehow or another, the daughter figured like, oh, that's not Shayla he was talking to. It was Miss Burgundy. So the wife had came back up there a couple days later after that and was staring Miss Burgundy down. Like she walked by her desk, mugged her and everything. And Miss Burgundy, she came to me. She was like, bitch, why did boss man wife walk by my desk and mug me? And I'm like, oh, bitch, she must have, she must know it's you. She know it was you. So that had happened. After that, the summer had came and Miss Burgundy got let go. But then they let her come back. But she was working for like this other program. And because Chris... I don't know did not like miss burgundy the person that was ahead of that program had put it a bug in that person's ear to fire miss burgundy so after like two weeks they had completely let her go when she had left me and the boss man having a conversation one day he told me that he got some sugar for that money that he gave her i don't know it's none of my business i don't know i just know the boss man was like, oh, do you know, I, um, do you know what happened between me and Miss Burgundy? And I'm just like, well, yeah, I know that you got caught up talking to her, giving her money. And he was like, what else? And I'm like, that's all she told me. That's all I know. He was like, oh, mm, yeah. Hmm. I was like, what, you clapped that? And he was just like, <laughs> I don't just be giving out money like that that much money for nothing and i was like oh you know what that means you know what that means so i i don't know i don't know i can't tell y'all hold on my phone died oops i didn't mean to push lord powder remote <clears throat> but basically he said he clapped in cheeks and he gave her that money for that nursing school but hey i don't know who to believe you feel me she said he did he said he did I don't know, boss man was a liar, but then he wasn't a liar. <laughs> you feel me? I was just like, shit, I don't fucking know. I don't know. Who to believe? It's really none of my business, none of my concern. But basically, he was trying to say, I could do that for you too. And I'm like, no, I'm cool. I get it out the mud. <laughs> I get it out the mud, baby. I, I don't play them type of games. I ain't built for that. I ain't built for that. I don't know how to do that. That's, I, 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 I'll be trying to figure out how y'all girls be having sugar daddies and, and getting money out of niggas. I don't know, y'all. I, I wasn't built like that. I wasn't built like that. I be wishing I was. But I'm going to just keep it hunting with you. I ain't built like that. I don't I don't know how to finesse a nigga out money. <laughs> and, and I'm not finna fuck a nigga for no money. I'm not finna do that. Like, no ma'am. No ma'am absolutely not mm -mm. but yeah y'all after miss burgundy left things kind of died down i stopped having beef with anybody at the job because i wasn't really cool with nobody i mean i was cool with people there but i wasn't really cool with nobody like that like how i was with miss burgundy until 
I met this girl and I think I gave her a name already, but I can't think of the name. I'm gonna go back. And so I met this girl and me and her became cool. And at first it was, it was innocent. And then I don't know y'all, I'm gonna tell y'all the whole story with me and this girl. And then y'all tell me was I the weirdo or was she the weirdo? Because I feel like what I did was kind of like, okay, but I feel like overall, like, she was a fucking weirdo bitch to me in the end. I don't get it. Like, to this day, like, if she hit me and we talked, like, I would be cool with her because I just didn't understand how she turned out the way it turned out. But yeah, y'all, that's the end of this story time. I know it's all over the place. It's just because, like, so much stuff happened at this job. Like, it'd be hard to, like, put everything together how I'm gonna tell it so I just talk really these last few parts like I'm gonna just talk so I hope we come out together if not I will cut and edit and do voiceovers to make it all sound correct and make sense together but yeah it was pretty it was pretty cool after that when Miss Burgundy left I didn't have no issues I didn't have no issues besides with Deb Y'all, <laughs> oh we, oh we. Now this story I'm gonna tell about her. It's probably gonna be like a little mini story, but oh, mm, yeah. So I think I got like two, two or three more episodes in this call center series and then i'm about to wrap this shit up and if anything else pop into my head after y'all hear it at a later time but from my notes i think i got like two or three more story times i could push out about this call center for y'all but yeah y'all i'm out of here i'm a vibe you a vibe we should vibe so you should well you should like comment share and subscribe but only if you want to only if you want to if you're watching that's really all i appreciate everything is extra and if you do so i greatly appreciate it if you want extra ju juicy tea go ahead and click that link down in my description below to join my membership period i'm gonna see y'all in the next video deuces